In this video, we will learn how to download folders, documents, and images from the Hub so we can transfer them to our new learning management system, Canvas. As we transition to Canvas, we will need to move any personal or custom created materials off the Hub. This does not apply to materials created in the Hub by the HISD curriculum team. They will move those lessons and materials to Canvas for us. You will only need to move items that you added to the Hub. Inside one of your courses, you'll want to open the Resources tab. Once you've opened up the Resources tab, you'll be able to see all the materials that you have in your course. Then you can begin going through those materials and decide which materials you need to save or download to move to our new Canvas system. So a good starting point is downloading all the folders that you use to organize your lessons in. This downloading folders in the hub only downloads the folders themselves so you'll have the organizational structure but you'll still need to decide which files to put in those folders so when i'm ready to download the folders that i wish to have in this case i want to download this social studies folder and the subfolders that go underneath it when i'm ready to download those i will click on that folder and i'll see that i'm in the correct folder up here at the top um, and then I will go down to the checkboxes and if I want all of the folders I can click on the checkbox to select all of those keep in mind I have a test here and I cannot download the tests so when I download this the test will not show up in my downloads just the folders will so once I've selected that box I can go ahead and click on action scroll down to download and a little menu bar will pop up here down at the bottom of my, my screen and it will just slide over uh, automatically unless you've done the download before like I have. So here I'll click on the green download button and that will download a zip folder to my computer. Now once I see that download uh, has completed it will show up either here, I can open it on the bottom of my screen where it shows downloads, or I can go down to the, the file folder explorer by clicking here. And then I go look in my downloads folder and I will see the social studies folder is there. I click on that folder, it will open it up, and then I will have the, the folder structure that I want to have. Again, these folders are empty. There are no files in them. Even though I have files on the hub, these folders will still be empty. The first type of file we'll look at downloading is a Word document. If I have saved a Word document onto uh, any of my lessons in the Hub, I can simply open that Word document. And then once I've opened that Word document, I can go over and find the download button. Once I click on that download button, it will download a copy of that file into my downloads folder on my computer. You can see it here in the downloads area, or again, I can go to the file explorer click on downloads and I'll see the Word document there. To download a PowerPoint from the Hub, I simply click on a PowerPoint file that I have saved. And the download button is right at the top. Click on download. The PowerPoint download will be right here in the, the downloads uh, bar, or I can open a folder, look in the downloads, and find my PowerPoint downloaded there. Now 
In order to download a spreadsheet or an Excel document uh, from the hub, I will need to click on the Excel spreadsheet that I created originally in the hub. Once that opens, I'll need to go to edit in Excel for the web. I'll open it there. And from this area, I'll need to go over to file. Then I'll click on save as. And then I'll click on download a copy. Once again, it will download that copy to my downloads uh, bar here at the bottom of my screen and it will also download it uh, into my downloads folder so if I look in the downloads folder I can see the example spreadsheet right there so the other way I can put Microsoft uh, Word PowerPoint or Excel uh, documents in the hub is with an assignment so I could have put those documents on an assignment and here's one right here uh, that I put that on as a sample um, I can click on show to show them the here or I can click on edit to edit the file um, and this will show me what documents I have attached if I go over here to to uh, click on the three dots on each of these I can click download and it will uh, download that file. Same thing with the PowerPoint. I can view it or download it. Again, download. That will give me a copy of that file so that it's then saved on my computer and I won't lose it. Same thing here with the spreadsheet. Uh, download. And then each of those items has been downloaded on the download bar. Or again, if I click on the file, uh, Explorer and click on downloads I will see all of those those three files downloaded here in my downloads folder another type of item you might want to copy um, from the hub to our new uh, learning system canvas is uh, images that you um, have uploaded to the hub to share with students so here in uh, my files I have an image that I I want to download off the hub just click on that image to open the file and then right over here on the corner you'll see a download button just click on the download button and once again it downloads the, the picture you can see your downloads in your downloads bar or again you can open up your files and look in the downloads folder and then you'll see that that image there so that is how you download an image from the hub preparing my google workspace files to go on the new system called canvas is very easy because all of my files are already saved in my google drive the thing i may want to do is make a copy of the files and put them in the, the right folder in my google drive so here on the hub i have an assignment called word builder and in this assignment there is a uh, google slides file that's part of the assignment to see that file i just click on edit the assignment once I'm in the assignment if I scroll down I'll be able to see any uh, Google workspace files that I've placed so I click on the three dots and here I have three options one is to view the slides okay and that will just let me look at them uh, the other is edit and that will let me change where they're located or save a copy and then the third one is download. Don't be too tempted by, to use the download uh, button because that will download a PDF copy of the slides. It doesn't give you a Google Slides uh, document, it gives you just a PDF. So what I, we want to click on here is edit. Once I click on edit, it opens in a new window. 
and then I can see the actual Word Builder file. In here, I go over to File, and it's really easy to make a copy of it and put it where I want it. This will also show me where it's currently located. So I'll click Make a Copy, Entire Presentation. Then it gives that title of a copy of Word Builder automatically. So maybe I want to give this a new title and just call it Word Builder 2. Then it will show me down below the fol folder that it's currently stored in. If I click here, I can also go over to the little arrow beside the word of the name of the folder. And on that arrow, I can say where I want to put the new copy. I'm going to put it in my Word Builders files. So I click to open that. And then I click select and it will choose that new folder to put the file into. And this will help me know where the files are and reorganize if I want to for our new system canvas. And that's it. Once I've done that, it'll make a new copy and it'll put that in the right place where I want it in my Google Drive.